this is your host road welcome back to love it games and today we will be continuing our majora's mask randomizer looking over what we did last time i think we are going to go to great bay coast because i think that's just about the only other place we can go at the moment so hopefully we can get something inside uh, the temple that'll help us progress because we are still looking for both the seahorse Goron's lullaby those will get us into uh, next sections or what we need for the elegancy of emptiness and of order I already forgot what it was. Left, up, left, right, down, left, right. So we're gonna play Lulu's children's song to awaken the turtle. I always loved this big turtle in this game. So I got two turtles of my own. I always thought turtles were some of the coolest creatures. Wow, it doesn't even wait a second. Up on and go. Alright. Let me see what we got going here. We can actually do the stray fairies here. Or even better. That sucks is we're gonna have to go back to Woodfall in order to do the stray fairies there. We don't know if a major item is hidden at the Great Fairies or not. I uh, enabled them to be. See, that was the last one in this room. I both like and dislike this temple. It is fun because you get to move stuff around. But what I dislike about it is if you forget something, it is a process to go all the way back around. goal is to turn all the water on going one way and then come around and turn it all on going the other. Can't remember is that okay yeah it is blowing so that's good. first part of this we have to turn the water on going to the yellow side and avoid this spider and this one that one way over there we're gonna Shoot the pedestal instead of it. I 
Yeah, this great fairy mask is awesome for bringing everything to you. There we go. We already got our first three. Let me see if I could remember. See, now there's that one. I think there's another one in here. Can't remember for sure. Is that all of them? Looks like it. Say, so luckily we already got our ice arrows, so we're actually going to be able to make short work a part of this dungeon. Usually you go through this dungeon a few different times, a few different ways. enough. That should be the... Alright, there we go. Everything in this room? Yep. Let's kill that for a moment. stairs. And boom. We're gonna have a few rooms like this where we're turning on switches and leaving. There's really nothing else going on. Next section. these or not, but they are super annoying. Oh, no, we'll take a stick. Let's 
just kill you outright. Normally this is a great fairy. Or a fairy, but... Alright, so that was stock. Can't remember which side this is on. That's guy. Alright. We need to go straight down. Well, we didn't get the magic we needed, but maybe we can still do this. Normally, you need some magic. Let's see if we can... Barely. Alright. This normally takes us to an area where we can get, like, I think it's the boss key or the ice arrows. It's been a while. It's one of the important chests, but with it randomized, I don't know what we're going to get. fight. And run. Oop. Dodge. Normally, when you're playing through the game, you have to go through each dungeon, defeat the frog mini boss, and then tell them all to go back to the ice area, which will be summer if you beat everything correctly. I don't know if we'll get them all done this 
this three day cycle or not, so go ahead and tell him to go back, but. We're still waiting on the Goron Lullaby. Which I'm honestly hoping we find the Goron Lullaby in this temple. to kill him but at a habit I did we gotta turn on this ice or er, this water switch That's what Navi's going crazy trying to tell me. That'd be such a headache. Bashing your head that hard into the wall. to go into a, another mini boss battle. This next one is super annoying. I think it's Grog, his name. Could be wrong. Glass mask works well or not. Come over here and try it. I have to take off the mask. Now basically, you want to clear out enough space to be able to attack the eyeball. to me by a giant eyeball.
I hate switch targeting. This is why I grabbed fairies beforehand. This can be done without dying. This is just one of the faster ways I tend to. Come on, show me that eye. There we go. Oh nice, we finally got the Garo's mask. Makes me want to do the stuff up in um, Stone Tower more. your way back up. Now comes the area where if we had full magic bar, this would be a lot easier. We're about to be using a lot of magic. Oops. We're going to be reversing this cog here soon. By doing that, it's going to change the water flow of the entire temple. get up here or not. Now he can be super annoying though. Alright, we're gonna 
go ahead and push, pull, figure out one way or another to do that. Then we need to completely not miss the ice that we're supposed to jump on top of. Okay, I can't remember if there's one or two fairies in this room. Put on the mask again. That's it. There we go. Now it's time to reverse the water flow or miss the jump. Try it again. And miss again. Magic? Nope. Oh, uh, yep. All right. So this next area, we have to turn on the red, turn off the yellow. Let's see. Grab this and push. This is a yellow switch that controls all the water pumping with the yellow pipes. And now everything is flowing the opposite way. Dang, I was hoping I could avoid having to go all the way around. Spider, try to avoid that spider. Now I basically go through the dungeon all over again, but this time the water's pushing a different direction. Dang. Say this side we actually should have already gotten done. Alright. There's a lot going on in this room. We're gonna want this. We're going to want this. Gotta freeze this. Hopefully, we're up high. All right. So, chest. I think there's only two in here.
actually worrying me is we have not found yet the uh items necessary for the, the other dungeons. Because of that, there's a very big risk that we have missed something. Alright, I think... I think there was one down here. There's, a, I think, two stray fairies in this room. this way try not to get knocked over or can I hook shot let's see can all right so that's 13 so the last two should be in the boss room Stockpile up on a few items first. chest which I have go the wrong way. I did just go the wrong way. Well, crap. That's annoying. I needed to go all the way down. I have to walk all the way around. If I can Oh, nope. Oh crap. I tried. Did not want to use ice arrows, but we're gonna have to use ice arrows.
Alright. Try this again. Just did a really big circle. First few times doing this dungeon as a kid, I missed this fairy and I was so mad. Because you basically have to come back through the dungeon, do quite a bit just to get back to it. Stray fairies. So we can do that check. And we'll do a quick quick save just in case. Now this boss battle is very annoying to me. There's multiple ways on how to do this. Basically, want to dodge him as much as you can. This is Grog. I did an eyeball, confused on their names. He does whatever he can to get you into that water. Spits out his babies. Which honestly are probably worse than he is. He does that. Like I said, he does anything he can to get you. Into the water. Once you're in the water, it's really hard not to get messed up by him. Oh. 
I honestly find this the hardest of the four bosses. Or one of the hardest of the four. Yeah, last three were. If I had more magic, I'd use the Fierce Deity mask on him. Now he gets to turn down to a little guppy. And he gave us a heart piece and remains. Well, I can open up the magic. If I can actually aim it. There we go. Grab that. And then grab that. I, your grog, however you want to say his name. But we got the fish head. Alright, so from here, we need to go turn everything in. Dodge the like likes. And all these little fish babies. One of the reasons I went for magic. Alright, so yeah, the maneuver our way around. Stupid bird. And jump. And jump. Just because I think it's funny, we'll wear the Great Fairy mask to turn in the Great Fairy items. So. We got 13 hearts now. I think on that, we're going to call it an episode. Thank you for tuning in to Love It Games, and have a wonderful day. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and follow. Comment below whether you like my progress, any tips and tricks, anything. Uh, thank you for tuning in, like I said. Have a good day.